going to show you how to solve trig equations when there's more than one solution that you need to find. So in the first example, we have to solve cos x equals 0 0.7 for x values between 0 and 360 degrees. So if you haven't been given a sketch already in the question, it's a good idea to do a quick sketch of the graph y equals cos x. It doesn't need to be as detailed as the one I've got here, but just bear in mind it goes up to 1 and down to negative 1 on the y-axis and make sure you know where it intersects the x-axis. So here at 90, 270 and so on. So it's just repeating itself, okay, this graph y equals cos x. So I'm going to start by writing down the equation from the question just over here. And you probably know how to solve this type of equation already. When you did the topic Sokotoa, finding angles in right angle triangles, you solved equations like this. So if you're working out the value of x, you would type into your calculator cos minus 1 of 0 0.7 and it would give you the value of x. So I'm just going to work that out. When I put that in the calculator, I get 45.5729 and so on. So if I round that angle to one decimal place, the 7 rounds the 5 up to a 6, so it's 45.6 degrees, okay? So if we just check our range of values at the beginning of the question, this value, 45.6, falls between 0 and 360, so it's an accept acceptable solution for this question, okay? So we've probably picked up a mark here already. Now, to find the other solutions, what you need to do is consider the graph, okay? Remember this is y equals cos x, and this, the equation we're solving is cos x equals 0 0.7. So can you see the y value has been replaced with 0 0.7? So a good idea would be to draw a, a line, a dashed line, to show the line y equals 0 0.7 on your graph. So it would look something like this. Okay, that's the line y is equal to 0 0.7. Now, where the cos graph intersects the line I've just drawn, y equals 0 0.7, is the same thing as finding the solutions to this equation. Okay, so you're just looking for the intersection points of the curve y equals cos x with the line that we've just drawn on, y equals 0 0.7. So, as you can see, there are multiple solutions. And remember, this graph, y equals cos x, keeps going, okay? So there are even more solutions that you can't see on the graph that I've drawn. Now, these two over here, if you think about the x-coordinates of those points, they're both negative x values, aren't they? Now, the x values in this question have to fall between 0 and 360. So these points here, we're not interested in, okay? They're not solutions to this question. This point here is smaller than 90 degrees, if we think about the x value, so it's actually the one that we've just worked out, okay? The x value of this intersection point is 45.6 degrees, so we've worked this one out, okay? Now, this one at the end, this x value is a little bit smaller than 360 degrees, so it also falls within our range of x values. So this is another solution that we need to work out. Now, if you consider just this part of the graph, y equals cos x, can you see it's symmetrical? That means the distance from the y-axis to this intersection point should equal the distance from this intersection point to this vertical line here, so x equals 360, okay? So to find out this point here, this value of x, all you have to do is subtract the value 45.6 from 360, okay? Because it's the same distance as the part here, okay? So if I work that out, 360 minus 45.5729 and so on, okay, it gives me... Uh, 314.427 and so on, which rounds to one decimal place, 314.4 degrees. And you can see that value of x falls within our range, so it's another acceptable solution for this question. Anything 
after this point would give you an x value that's greater than 360, okay? So they wouldn't fall within the range. So there are only two solutions for this question. In the next example, we have to solve sine x equals 0 0.4 for values of x between 0 and 360 degrees. So I've done a little sketch this time of the graph y equals sine x because we're solving for sine x. Okay, so it's not quite the same. Notice how this time it starts at the origin. It still goes up to one and down to minus one on the y-axis, but the graph crosses the x-axis in different places. So here at 180, 360, and so on, okay? So we're going to start just the same way as with the previous question. I'm going to write down the equation and solve for x, so I'm going to type into my calculator sine minus one of 0 0.4 to begin with. So if I do that, um, I get 23.578 and so on, and if I round that to one decimal place, I get 23.6 degrees, okay? And we can see our first value falls between 0 and 360, so it's one of the solutions to this question. Okay, so just like before, I'm going to replace y with this value, so this time 0 0.4, and I'm going to draw the line y equals 0 0.4 on my diagram, okay? So remember, the sine graph goes up to positive 1 on the y-axis, so 0 0.4 is approximately here. So when I do my dashed line, it's going to be around about there. Okay, so that's the line y equals 0 0.4. So when I work out the points of intersection that that dashed line has with the graph y equals sine x, I'm working out the solutions to this equation here. Now, the one we already worked out, 23.6, is this one here you should be able to see the x coordinate of this intersection point is around about there, which is approximately 23.6 degrees. The x coordinate of the point over here is going to be negative, so this won't be a solution in this question, because remember the x values have to fall within this range. So this intersection point here is a little bit less than 180, it definitely falls within our range, so we want to work out the x coordinate of that intersection point. Now, just like with the cos graph, the sine graph is, if we just consider this section, it's symmetrical. So, it's a little bit harder to see because it's a smaller distance, but the distance from the y-axis to this intersection point here is the same as the distance from this intersection point to the line x equals 180, okay? Because remember the graph crosses here are 180 degrees. So if those distances are equal, we can work out the x value of this intersection point by subtracting our previous value from 180, okay? Because we're going backwards. So if I work that out, so 180 minus 23.578 and so on, I get 156.4218 and so on. And if I round that to one decimal place, I get 156.4 degrees, which falls within our range, okay? So we've worked out the second solution. Hopefully you can see anything after this point here, okay, will be greater than 360. If I just carry on drawing my sine graph like this, okay, this intersection point is after 360 degrees. So this x coordinate will not fall within the range, so it's not a solution to the equation. we have to solve sine x equals negative 0.3 for the same range of x values. Okay, here's the sketch I've just done of y equals sine x. Remember, it goes up to a positive 1, down to negative 1 on the y-axis, and it intersects the x-axis at 180, 360, negative 180, negative 360, and so on. Okay, 
So I'm going to start the same way and write down the equation that I want to solve. And remember to work out your first solution of x, you type into your calculator sine minus 1 of this value negative 0 0.3 and when you do that you get negative 17.457 and so on which is negative 17.5 degrees to one decimal place. So this first solution that we've worked out it actually doesn't fall within the range okay it's a negative number so this won't be a solution to our equation but it's still going to be useful to us to work out the other solutions. Remember, the next step is to draw a little dashed line of this time, y equals negative 0.3. So negative 0.3 approximately here on the y-axis, so this would be the line negative uh, y equals negative 0.3. Okay, it doesn't have to be an accurate sketch, but just remember it's a negative number, so it has to be below um, the x-axis. <laughs> okay, so we can see that line intersects our graph y equals sine x in multiple places, as expected. So these are all solutions to our equation. So the one that we worked out here, negative 17.5 degrees, it's this one over here. You should be able to see that the x coordinate of this intersection point is around here, it's negative. So that was the first solution and that one is not relevant to our question because it doesn't fall within the range of x values. The distance though is important, okay? This distance from the y-axis to our intersection point is positive 17.457 and so on, okay? That's the distance. And because of the symmetry on the graph, we know that this distance is going to be the same as this distance, okay? Remember the graph here, the side graph, crosses the x-axis at 180, okay? So from this point onwards to the intersection point is going to be the same distance. So if we want to work out this intersection point, and so this solution is after 180, so we have to add 17.457 to 180, okay? So not using the negative um, in your answer here, you're adding 17.457 and so on, okay, to 180. Okay, so that gives me 197.457 and to one decimal place that would be 197.5 degrees. And you can see that that answer falls within the range of values of x, so it's definitely one of the solutions. So let's keep checking because there might be another solution, okay? This one over here. Remember the sine graph crosses the x-axis at 360. Well, this intersection point is just before there, so it's going to be smaller than 360, so we know it falls within our range. So we want to work out the x-coordinate of that intersection point. And just as with the last part here, the distance is going to be the same because of the symmetry on the graph. So this distance from this line to the intersection point is also going to be 17.457, okay? So it's just before 360, so you're subtracting 17.457 from 360. Okay, so if I work that out, I get 342.5423, which rounds to 342.5 degrees, which falls within our range. So there's the second solution. Now if we just check the other solutions, anything after this one to the left, well, they're all going to be negative x values, so they're not relevant. Anything after this point is going to be greater than 360. So it doesn't fall within the range either. Okay, so we've got two solutions to this equation. In the next question, we have to solve tan x equals 1.5 for values of x between 0 and 360 again. And so because we're using tan x this time, I've done a sketch of the graph y equals tan x. Okay, so here's my lovely sketch of y equals tan x. 
So remember, this graph repeats itself every 180 degrees, okay? So it intersects at negative 180, the origin, 180, 360, and so on, okay? So these are evenly spaced, okay? And these lines are meant to be identical, even if they look a little bit messy on my graph. These dashed lines here, they're not actually part of the graph, they're called asymptotes, okay? Um, I've really just drawn them in here just to help me draw the graph a bit more easily, okay? You don't have to draw those in. So, let's start the same way as with the other examples. I'm going to write down the equation, so tan x equals 1.5, and to find our first solution of x, I'm going to use my calculator, type in tan minus 1 of that value, 1.5. So, when I do that, I get 56.3099 and so on. So, if I round that to one decimal place, I get 56.3 degrees, which falls within our range. So, we found our first solution. So, just like with the other examples, I always like to draw in the line, this time y equals 1.5 on my sketch. So it doesn't really matter where you draw the line. I mean, it's a positive number. So just make sure you draw your horizontal line, y equals 1.5, above the x-axis rather than below, okay? It's not like with the sine and cos x graphs, we knew it went up to one and down to minus one. This time with tan x, the graph just keeps going up and up and up. So I'm just going to say that this here is 1.5 on the y-axis. So there's my horizontal line. So we can see our line intersects the tan graph in multiple places. So these are all solutions to that equation. This one over here has a negative x coordinate. So it's not a solution for this question because it falls outside of the range. This is the solution that we already worked out. Okay, hopefully you can see that 56.3, the x coordinate of this one is around about there, so we've worked that one out here. Remember I said that the graph repeats itself every 180. So it's actually much easier with the tan graph when you're solving equations, because if you want to find the next solution, you just add 180. And if you want to find the solution after that, you would add 180 again. If you wanted to work out this one, you would just subtract 180 to go back the other way. Okay, because the graph is spaced every 180, you're just adding or subtracting 180 to find the next solutions, okay? So if we take this one here, remember this was 56.3. We're adding 180 to find the next one. So if I add those together, I get 236.3099 if I use the exact value from up above. So that rounds to one decimal place as 236.3 degrees, okay? Anything after that is going to be greater than 360. So there are two solutions in the equation and there they are.